hello loves welcome back to my channel today i have this purple smoky eyes for you with hot red lips and if you want to know how to create this look just keep on watching I'm starting with Origins Zero Oil Moisturizer and apply it all over my face. And I have breakouts right now which makes me nuts. Then I apply L'Oreal Too Much Lumi Foundation with my finger all over my face. Blend it with Azaria Cosmetics Foundation Brush. Blend it even more with my beauty blender. For my under eye, I'm using Maybelline Dark Erase Concealer. Taking Beauty Blender to blend. As I have a lot of veins on my eyelids, I'm taking Painterly Paint Pot on Sigma P82 brush and I apply it all over it. Contouring, I'm using Makeup Forever foundation palette and two darkest shades on Zeri Cosmetics contour brush. Again, blended with Beauty Blender. For my brows, I'm using Deep Brow Pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills in medium brown on her brush in number 14. clean them a little bit, I'm using Dream Lumi Concealer by Maybelline on Morphe M224 brush. Before I set my foundation with powder, I'm using NYX Liquid Illuminator onto the highest points of my cheeks and I apply it with my finger. And this illuminator as well as some other products I got from Capulet website. This is a website selling brand products at 30% off to its members and you can become a member by paying an annual fee which is less than $5 per month which is great. Now I blend everything together with my damp beauty blender. To 
set everything, I'm using Kat Von D translucent powder on my Zeri Cosmetics powder brush and I love this brush, this is the best powder brush that I have. under eyes I'm using Laura Mercier secret brightening powder on Zeri Cosmetics concealer brush <music> NYX Liquid Illuminator, I'm using Mary Lou by The Balm on Sigma F03 brush. To set my brows, I'm using Brow Drama Mascara by Maybelline and it helps me to reduce some powder fall off onto my brows. Oh my! To hydrate my lips, I'm using Best Damn Beauty Lip Mask. As for the eyes, I'm starting off with Pat McGrath Black Smudge Liner Smudge Coal and I'm tracing my lash line to create the darker base for the eyeshadows. And I blend it with Zeri Cosmetics eyeshadow brush. Using the same coal for my lower eyelid and blend with the same Zeri Cosmetics eyeshadow brush. Then I blend even more with Clean Synthetic Brush by Zeri Cosmetics. Then I'm taking Smoke Gets Into Your Eyes eyeshadow kit by Jane Iredale that I got from Capulet website as well and I'm taking Violet eyeshadow onto Sigma E40 brush and I'm warming up the crease. Then I'm taking Aubergine on MAC 239 brush and I apply it onto my lid. Taking the darkest shade from the palette, this is Sizzle, on Sigma E45 brush, I carefully apply it onto the outer V of my eye. Taking it onto my lower eyelid as well. Taking MAC 239 with what's left on it, I blend the two colors together. Taking 
violet eyeshadow on Sigma E20 brush, I blend this darkest shade. <laughs> And taking it a little bit closer to the inner corner. In the beginning I wanted to leave everything as it is, but the look turned out to be a bit dull for me, so I decided to add some color. So I'm taking Inglot Pigment in 33 and apply it with my finger. Then blend it with MAC 239 brush. Taking the same pigment onto my lower eyelid. To highlight, I'm using the lightest sheet from the palette, this is Nude, with any pencil brush. I cannot live without sparkles, so I'm taking Celestine Pigment by Bare Minerals on pencil brush for my inner corner and with Sigma E04 brush I apply it onto my brow bone. As for mascara, I'm taking Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. Lashes are Allure and Vegas Nay in Absolute Allure. waterline I decided to go a bit darker so I'm taking espresso full spectrum eye pencil by Makeup Geek. To make the purple pop I'm taking NYX slide on pencil in glitzy gold and apply it as well onto my waterline. So this is the final look for the eyes. To warm up my face even more, I'm taking Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D and I apply subconscious shade with my Sigma F20 brush. Blush I'm using Gentle by MAC on Morphe E4 brush. And blend everything with Sigma F50 brush. For my lips I'm using ColourPop lip pencil in Fighter. taking matte lipstick by NYX in Indie Flick that I got from Capulet as well and cool tone lip pencil and orangey lipstick create a great ombre effect. <laughs> So this is the final look, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I definitely recommend you check out the Capulet website and see you all guys soon, bye bye!